installation now. Now we got the pavers on site and we're going to install them. How many people have been in this business 20 years plus? Okay. And we asked the question earlier, have pavers changed since then? Right? Okay. <laughs> Remember back in the day, and I had one, the paver cart. When we used Holland Stone and we used 6x6 and 6x9, and you pull up there with your paver cart, and you pick up a section, and you bring it over to here, and they can start going, and you can just keep doing that. Or you throw them in a wheelbarrow, and you go, guess where it's at today, right? You're not throwing this in a wheelbarrow. And I don't think anybody's invented a paver cart to pick up the configuration that we have on these bundles these days. So we got to work smarter. We got to save people's backs. We got to save people's fingers. Uh, we want everyone to work longer, but more efficiently and with less back pain and knee pain and all these other things that go on. So with these larger format pavers, we have things, again, like our, like our partners that are here today, Pave Tool and Pave Tech, they have the lifting devices. Right, we've all used those vacuum lifting devices, either a one person for, for some of the smaller items or a two person if you have larger slabs, whether it's blue stone or pavers. Um, but you're, you, know, you have a handle here, you have another guy in a handle there and you're picking it up, you set it in place, that's great. If you have a, a mistake over here or a paver you don't like, you just pick it up and, you know, in place, put a new one in there and call it a day. You don't have that guy that he installed, you know, 800 square feet the day before, the next morning he comes in and he's three feet shorter because he's logging like, I'm not doing that much again today. You know what I mean? We got to use these things to our advantage so that we can be more efficient and get to more jobs and make more money in the long run. That's what we want to have happen.